Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Thunderstorms. There was a little bit of light. Oh, that's a fish. I think I'm gonna downsize because the wind has gone down. Let's see if we can't get them on a little VTJ magic. And I'm on, yeah. <laughs> Drag ripper. There it goes. The bite is on fire right now. Down we go. Oh, I see another fish. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt Gilbert, and this is another episode of VTTU. Today is June 15th, and I am out on Lake Champlain jigging lake trout, and I think I just found another wolf pack. So stay tuned, and let's see if I can put another lake trout in the boat. I'm a uh, one for two right now, and I am summoning them off the bottom. I, they're definitely eating down there. They like a little tap tap. You raise it up, boom, fish on. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You're watching BTTU. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, all right. All right. Measuring paddle in place. Oh, this is a good one. The bite is hot. Yeah! Woo! Come on. Don't hook yourself on the net. Don't hook the net. Don't do that. Let's see if we can get a net measure. That's a lot easier than holding them. Looks like we're uh, roughly 24, 24, 25. Nothing, nothing worth writing home about. There we go, not bad. Yeah. Fish number three of the day. There we go, healthy swim off. And man, it's been like, just like constant, constant action. Like don't, don't blink. I'll have another one up in a minute. They are, they are here. Dunk and the, the wind turned off. There's still like a weird uh, kind of uh, wave thing going on, but uh, the drift isn't bad at all and it's pretty easy to deal with. The fish are here. Earlier today, I was uh, hanging out at the boat launch, just kind of like wishing I could go out. There was thunderstorms, there was a little bit of light. Oh, that's a fish. Can you get one here? Oh, we got another wolf pack, it's time. That's what I guess we're trying to tell a story about earlier today. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're ready to eat. It is nice that I didn't have to go, oh, I just got hit. And I'm on, yeah, oh, oh, oh. I was gonna say, it's nice I didn't have to go out as far tonight, but. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, another good one. Another good one. Let's let that one get off. Ooh, scary. Another nice mouth hook fish. I don't think I'm gonna net this guy. I think I'm just gonna let him go. Corner of the mouth. That's what we like to see. This one, you know what? He just does not want to be photographed, so we'll get him. Oh, this one got it pretty good, actually. So, on the plus, he was hooked nice. On the negative, it's a bitch to get him off. There he goes. Swimming off to terrorize again. Let's see if we can get another one 
The bite is on fire right now. Absolutely just exploding. This is insane. This is definitely the best fishing I've ever had in Burlington Bay, by far. And then, and, oh, I almost hooked up two drops in a row. That's spectacular. Oh man, they're down there. Another one. Another one! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this one feels good. Oh. Wow, I am. I am on the juice right now. Out here. I mean, they're all in this like 25s range. This one ate it a little bit more. I think he will survive though. See, I might have to get the uh, the long nose pliers for this one. Oh, he bleeding. There we go. Another one down. Sweet. I've officially lost count. I think that's my third or fourth fish. Easily third or fourth. Same. Still, still waiting for that like nice 30s fish, but you know, I'll take a slight fest any day of the week. This is my, ooh, ooh, ooh pull it. Same size as the last ones. They're all in that kind of mid 25s range. This one wants to drag the kayak around a little bit though. Well, he unhooked himself. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> that was great. They are here. Pin dropped. Recommendation for all you fishermen out there who wanna wanna figure it out. Uh, keeping track of what you've been doing is super, super important. If it weren't for Navionics and dropping pins, I would have no idea what I was doing. And I think I felt something down there. Having a little trouble staying in the right orientation, but for the most part, things are going pretty well. My tube jig still looks good. Oh, oh, bent hooks, bent hooks. Look at that. Okay, all right, I guess we're gonna have to switch it out. Switch it out. For what, though? That's a good question. I've been killing it on the three ounce tube jig. I think I'm gonna downsize because the wind has gone down to a two, two ounce tube jig. And this is one of my verticaltubejig.com. It's painted with a pearl white. It's got a custom uh, hook at the bottom. I found these uh, increased hookup rates. So let's see if we can get them on a little VTJ magic. Now that this isn't a vertical tube jig, this is, this is just like a more of a do it yourself VTJ. Down we go. Oh, I see another fish. I see another fish. We're dropping it on them. So this will be an interesting test to see if they, uh, they're they they're enjoying the smaller profile. Oh, 
Gosh darn it. Mm. Yeah! Oh, that was a great one. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, oh, this fish is back from under the deck. Drag ripper. Drag ripper! I want to measure this fish. I want to touch you, buddy. Oh, he's burped. Like that. Oh, he just he came off. Oh! Maybe we can get him again on the drop. I don't know. Kind of doubt it, but that hurts. Easily best fish of the day. Got another one playing with me now. I doubt it's the same one, but yeah, it could be. Oh man, that one came up. I saw it race up. Heart, absolute heartbreaker of a fish. That was a good one. Oh. Well, I'm certainly not stopping now. Drag ripper. That one could have been my 30 inch fish. Alright, start battling. 